Welcome to an incredibly unique mystical spirit grounds island that is all themed around a video game concept with three guardian spirits that can be found around the island. This amazing concept and island is by Kira. I'm going to make sure to put Kira's Instagram, the dream address, and of course where you can find the custom codes used all in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Animal Crossing content and let's go ahead and get into the tour. All right, here we are at the entrance. Probably one of the coolest flags I've seen. I really, really love the color palette, how everything is so neutral and moody. Also, this amazing outfit was left right outside of the entrance. So if you decide to dream of this island, you will see a couple of goodies. So that way you can properly change your wardrobe before actually exploring the island itself. Now, before we dive into it, of course, let's go ahead and look at this map. Oh my goodness, so much pathing. <laughs> this is so cool. And it looks like there's a maze of sorts, maybe at the beginning here, um, which makes me nervous because I am bad at mazes. I think we all can probably assume that, right? Here's the dream address also on the screen. If you wanna pause the video, grab your Switch and tour along with me. We also have two homes to explore and all of the homes are fully decorated. So we will be able to explore so much on this island. Uh, for villagers too, we have Zell, Tianshang, Nan, Avery. Then we have Coco, Cephalobot, Bangle, Roswell, Winnie. Oh, I love Winnie. She's so sweet. And Wart Jr. All right, let's go ahead and start this tour. I think this whole concept is so creative and so unique too, because it's a video game concept that Kira has been working on since graduation, which is just so, so cool. And again, it's just incredibly unique and different. A video game in a video game, if you will. <laughs> How cool is this entrance too? Definitely get the vibe that we have some mystical spirits. We have some very sacred grounds around us. Oh my gosh, look at Winnie back there. <laughs> so cool. And I gotta say, I don't know if this is the light dirt pathing or if it's the sand, path. I think it's the light dirt, but I can't remember. <laughs> it looks really, really cool on the snow is what I'm trying to say. I love it. And I guess let's go to the left because I think that is the direction that had that maze potentially. Oh yeah, it looks like I could be correct, which makes me so nervous <laughs> to actually go in here. This is great though. I love too how with on the actual cliffs, we have a little bit of fencing to kind of create you know, a little bit of a, a higher maze, if you will. Okay, I guess we, we should just go ahead and go on in, right? I'm, I'm delaying the inevitable here. Um, we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna go to the right. <laughs> this is so cool. I've always wondered, and please let me know if you ever want me to even attempt a maze, like a really full on island that is built as a maze on my channel. I feel like I would fail pretty badly, but uh, let me know. Look at that. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness. And then it leads up here to a gift. Okay. So like I said in the intro, there are three guardian spirits that are found around the island and they bestow gifts to the character. So I'm assuming we found the first one. Let's see what this is. Oh my gosh, how cool. Now we have a sword. <laughs> that is so neat. Okay, that's so much fun. I absolutely love it. You know what this definitely is uh, reminding me of? It reminds me of the shrines in Zelda, like in Breath of the Wild. So cool. Oh my gosh, hi Coco. <laughs> I gotta say, Coco with the hat on looks pretty creepy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, she looks creepy all the time, but especially with that hat, a little terrifying, gotta say. That's so fun. Oh my goodness, that was so cool. Mazes aren't scary, right? Hello, let me say hi. Oh my gosh, we have both characters right here. 
Buy some fish. <laughs> Love it. Hello. Find the three guardian spirits. I found one. Two more to go. And look at this area. It looks like we have a little shopping center right here. Very, very cool. I wonder where the other two are. I kind of want to explore the beaches while we're here. Whoa. Hi, War Junior. Oh my gosh, how cool. Look at how the train tracks go into that tunnel right there. It's spooky. My goodness, we have so many characters out walking, <laughs> walking around over here. Hi, Bangle. Oh, well, this is scary. We got a dead body on the dock. Okay. I think... Wait. Oh, no, it's just a mannequin head. I thought maybe that was one of the guardian spirits. Okay, let's go back this way. I think this incline is probably uh, gonna lead us somewhere. Good. So let's see. Yeah, this is so cool. Oh, Nook's Cranny is up here. Whoa, I did not even recognize it. That's <laughs> so cool. I swear these castle items are incredible. If only we had different variations of something similar, right? Like not necessarily castle, but you know, maybe we could have, I don't know, more like rustic looking ones or ones that weren't brick. I, I don't know, I'm rambling, but I love how these items really can camouflage the buildings in the game. It looks so good. Whoa, this is cool. Is this one of them? Is this one of them? Maybe not. And here we have Abel sisters. A little shopping area. Okay, so I don't think one of the guardians is there. Let's explore back here. Oh, we can go in the homes actually, since we are here. So with the fish on the door, I'm assuming since the character said to buy some fish, it's like a market in here? I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Spot on. This is so cool too. Oh, I kind of love how this back room is blocked off with the counter. That's pretty genius. So good. I always forget we have these wrapped in cellophane <laughs> type of items. <laughs> like right here. It's pretty, pretty genius. Little fish market. So since we can't, or I don't think we can. Yeah, can't get in the back one, but let's explore the others. Let's go over here to the left. Oh, how fun. And here we have a little area to cook the fish. Oh my goodness, I kind of forget. This is a rice maker, isn't it? Or a rice cooker. I always forget that this even exists. <laughs> I really do. I mean, not in real life. In real life, I own one, but in Animal Crossing life, I forget that it's an item. <laughs> Okay, let's go over here. I always forget how cool that floor is, is as, a, as well. And here we have more fish, but these guys are, uh, they're hanging in there. They haven't been killed yet. Whoa. I don't know if I've ever seen the eel um, in its I almost said in its container, <laughs> in its tank like that before. Cool. Love it. And a little horseshoe crab over here too. Oh, just ran under the wall. 
listen, I'm recording this like early in the morning. <laughs> so if I, if I sound a little like discombobulated, I'm just sleepy. Uh, the caffeine has not injured my system quite yet. How cool. Oh, I love this. Might I just say, like, it is so pleasing to see everything matching so nicely in this room. I mean, even from the wallpaper to the stools to the table, the floor, like, everything is really, really cohesive with, like, that bamboo color, but also the texture, too. Oh, I love this room. This is so well decorated. Huge fan. Oh my gosh, how fun. This house is incredible. All themed around fish, which I love. That's fun. Okay. All right, we still got two guardians to find people, so let's go this way. Ooh, oh, this is so neat. It looks like we have some kind of character here that maybe, I don't know, wants to give us a pearl, <laughs> it looks like. This is so cool. We'll go up this way. Oh yeah, we have villager homes to explore. Um, this walkway is awesome, though. I love the party lights here, but especially how they alternate in colors. That's so cool. Oh, here is a home. We got a villager in here. Is this, I think this is Zell's house, right? If I'm remembering correctly, and if these exteriors are the same, I think it's Zell's house. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm right. <laughs> wow, this is so pretty too. Oh my gosh, look at that artwork. Whoa, on the curtains. Okay, that is so cool. Whoever designed that custom code, hats off to you. That is really neat. Oh my gosh, Zell, you got your own artwork hanging on a curtain above your bed. That's so, so cool. Huge fan of the way that this whole area is decorated, too. And you know what? I also love that we actually have a little bench here, like a workbench, because, you know, if you actually do want to collect those DIYs, you kind of need to have a workbench in there. If you opt into redecorating, that is. Oh, look, here's the artwork there, too. Whoa. Okay, this is so cool. There's Zell's. This is Coco's. That's Avery's. Okay, this is incredible. These codes are amazing. What? Oh my gosh, this is so neat. Avery's right here. Okay, so I'm I'm assuming this is Avery's home. <laughs> Go check it out too. That is so creative. I absolutely love how they're put on the lanterns. Avery. Okay, this house is awesome too. Wait, what is this floor? This uh, stone floor? I don't know if I've ever seen it. This is super cool. I think Avery is truly like one of the coolest looking Animal Crossing villagers. He's on my island and I am such a fan. I just think he looks awesome. His patterns, he's cool, right? Big fan of Avery and of this home too. Okay, then here is War Junior's home, but he's out walking around. Tianxing over here. Okay, these codes are so <laughs> incredibly good. Wow, like spot on good. I think Zell's is my favorite though. I, I really think so, just because of the way like, I don't know, the way everything was made. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, if this doesn't scream, there's a guardian up here, I don't know what does, but actually I think it's just the museum. 
<laughs> but how incredible does that look? You can't even see the museum, and I mean that to be a compliment. Like, you can see the entrance, obviously, but the actual structure is so perfectly camouflaged by all of these items. Wow. Yeah, that's incredible. And here, oh, wait, was I right? Is I see a, I see two presents right here. Ah, oh, this must be one of the other uh, guardians, right? Did we find it? And we have two presents. Okay, let's see what they are. <laughs> I love this outfit. Look at us. We're really doing the thing, you guys. Oh, and there's the secret beach. Wait a second. Wait a second. I see a Mario pipe, but I can't get down there here. Okay, so we gotta find the Mario pipe to get to that one. Cause I see a present and I see the guardian. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know how to get there. Well, I do know how to get there. It's through, again, the hidden pipe. But i got to figure out how to get to it. Oh, my God. It's right there. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait. How do I get to it? Okay. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out in a second. Let's continue <laughs> touring the island. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. Look at this campsite. Something about this is giving me uh, Star Wars vibes. I don't know why. I really don't know why. The campsite though is very cool. And I am really obsessed with how all of these buildings have been camouflaged with the castle items. They're so good. And obviously this island is so cool with the theme, the lore around it, the actual tasks of, you know, finding the guardians, <clears throat> but it's also just beautiful too. Look, here's Winnie's home. All right, we get to see Roswell's home. That's cool. But yeah, this whole island is just very aesthetically beautiful as well. Let us not forget that. Hey, Roswell, and this is cool. Got tons of gyroids hanging out. <laughs> I love that Roswell's in like this, this blue pineapple shirt. And yet his home is like so cool, full of rocks and boulders and gyroids. And yet he's like looking a little bit like Warren Buffett. <laughs> such a cool house yeah I really I can't get over these custom codes of the villagers I think they're just so cool and then this is Cephalobot's house oh my gosh we have three villagers in a row that are home amazing <clears throat> Cephalobot's a pretty cool octopus I gotta say I don't know who my favorite one would be whoa and your home is cool too Oh, that's so neat. And look at that robot arm over there. Wait, what in the world? What? What is in here? Sorry, self but I'm like pushing you out of the way. What is this? What is this? <laughs> what? What is that? That looks made up. But clearly it's something you can collect in the game. Oh, cool. Whoa. Zero, eight, three. Does anyone know why Cephalobot has zero, eight, three on his head? Does that, is that significant in any way? It's not like his amiibo number by any means, right? Because he was introduced late in the game. Oh, Nan. I love Nan. You guys already know. She's my girl. And you 
you just have a sweet, beautiful, cozy little home. Perfect for you. Okay, I love this uh, mat, like this little entry rug right here. I love it. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, Nan's a good villager. Big fan, big fan of Nan. I just think she's so cute. All right, bye friend, I love your home. It's perfect for you, it's very cozy. And then Bangle's home, but we saw her walking around. Cute. Wait, a ladder. Okay, we have so much to explore. <laughs> we really, really do. This island is so cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa, what happened to my voice? Hold on. <clears throat> Man. There we go. <laughs> my voice just decided to disappear, apparently. Whoa, look at that structure. So cool. So well made. I love it. I love how in this game you really, really can capitalize when using like different items to create totally different structures. It's so cool. And that one's so unique as well. Okay, there's the ladder over there. But before we do that, go up here oh cool looks like we have a little whoa not a little a big area to maybe do a little prayer give a little blessing plant some incense we have more gyroids on the beach tons actually hello Okay, I'm too tempted. I gotta see what the deal is. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, what is this? What are we digging up over here? Okay, we got a shovel. And also, yes, I do see this right here, but I need to dig these up. <laughs> Okay, fossil, fossil, great, cool. What's this? Gyroid! Can you bury presents? I don't know if you can. Because that would be cool. Oh, no. Wrong way. <gasps> yes, you can! <laughs> oh, how cool! Okay, what is it? What's in here? What is it? Cow skull. Yes. And you know what? Just for good measure, we can go ahead and dig up the other things, right? Man, I kind of want to restart my island. I, I really do. Even just like digging up these fossils is <laughs> is like, it feels nostalgic to like early gameplay, which, you know. Once you get to a certain point, you're just like decorating a whole bunch. I don't know. I miss just digging up fossils. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, with Calico, which is just, you know, it's my main island and I love it. I have literally not finished a second island ever. <laughs> but <laughs> wait, can I hop? Yay! Man. Um, but I, I mean, I have like so many things cataloged and for like Happy Home Paradise, obviously that's super helpful. <gasps> a wand. Look at us. We did it. Oh my gosh, I forgot I even had these outfits. Farmer Katie, chic, parka, autumn gear. What's this one? Snow day, rain gear, casual day. I totally forgot I had all those outfits, even uh, <laughs> even in there. <laughs> Fun. Oh, okay. Gotta get to that Mario pipe. That's one of the goals. 
Whoa. Whoa, that's so cool. It's really neat seeing all of these like stacked one against the other. Very neat. Oh, whoa, and this whole area too with the trees. This is quite spooky in a cool way. And this island is so unique. And I know obviously it's themed after a video game concept, but it, like it really does feel so specific to a different game other than Animal Crossing, which is so fun. Like you really, really get a sense of what this world is like. And here's resident services. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is wild. So obviously this is where you wake up if you decide to dream of this island. <laughs> but it even fooled me for a second because it's like, it's camouflaged so well. Wow. Okay, this part's cool too. I know how simple this is like you literally have one, two, three, four items, pathing in a tree. But isn't that so cool? Just goes to show how like effective you can be with small spaces, just a handful of items. Okay, on a mission now. Here's the entrance again. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, we also have to see the other main house. This is it, right? How come we didn't go in here earlier? This whole area is so cool too with all of the mushrooms, the pathing. I mean, this all looks incredible. I really feel like I'm on another planet, really. Whoa. Okay, this is cool. This is so cool. It's so eerie. Definitely a little bit spooky. Again, I'm getting that shrine vibe from Zelda in this room. But not just spooky and eerie, it's also just like very beautiful. It's almost ethereal in its own way. Love it. Whoa. Oh, look at that gyroid, how cool. Again, incredibly eerie. <laughs> and this mirror too is the uh, spooking me out a little bit. But such a cool room. I wonder what this house is meant to be. Like if it's meant to be kind of like a shrine or maybe a home of the one of the guardians. It's all very cool. Whoa, and this one has like that green tint to it. Okay, this is so cool. Whoa, I don't think I knew that the chandelier could be changed green. <laughs> That's so neat. Also, might I just say, I love this wallpaper, the botanical, is that what it's called? Botanical wallpaper, I think. I just think it's so pretty in both the black and the brown. So cool. Man, the gyroids, like, they're so weird. I love them. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love them. But it's just like, bizarre. <laughs> They're very, very bizarre. <laughs> like we're in a game with like tons of animals that talk. And then we just have these like rocks that move and sing and you dig them up. It's all just quite confusing. So cool. Wait, what in the world? What is this item right here? <laughs> what is that? I got some glowing moss in a jar. What in the world? What is that item? Am I? crazy? I don't know what that is. 
Wait, and this mobile hanging on the wall is really, really pretty. Gosh, I, I, do I just not know that some of these items exist? Like, what is happening? <laughs> the answer is yes, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that they exist. Okay, now let's go upstairs. Oh, and this one has a basement too, amazing. Whoa! Okay, so cool. I'm not gonna pan around in this one just because it looks amazing. What? Okay, that's so neat. Do you guys see what I mean? How the, something about this reminds me of Star Wars a little bit. I think just like the desert planet feeling. Whoa, so cool. Man, I I really wanna play the actual game that this is inspired by. I know it's not like a, you know, commercial game yet, but Hira is working on it. And it's a concept that could very much be uh, available at some point. It's so cool. I love it. This home is totally different than the other one, than the fish one. <laughs> okay, now it's time. Time to get to that Mario pipe somehow, some way. Whoa, we have tons of mushrooms right here. Wait, this is so cool. This little mushroom farm, that's amazing. Okay, so if I go around this way, we gone through here. Whoa. Okay, this island is feeling way bigger <laughs> than I remember. There's the fish home, <clears throat> which is so cool. I don't think I even realized that pathing there was like sand, so neat. Did I go, have I been over here? Now I'm confusing myself. Oh my God, it's right there. <laughs> well, that is insanely lucky. Okay, before we go in, the, I did not even mean to find it that quickly. Before we do go through the Mario pipe, I wanna look at this area because it looks so cool. Look at this. Looks like we have another area for like an offering of sorts. That's so cool. This island feels huge because everything is so, so spacious. Hi ladies, what, what's over here? An incredibly perfect rock garden. Wow, that's amazing. And totally usable too. I wonder, you know what? Can I, if I hit rocks in a dream, oh my gosh, you actually can farm them. I mean, obviously you can't take anything with you, but oh. Wow, you learn something new every day. Well, which one's the money rock? Not that it even matters, but I wonder if one of them, oh, wrong way. If one of them will be a money rock in a dream. We're just experimenting here, just experimenting. Is it this one? Okay, all right, so none of them are the money rock. That's kind of upsetting but I guess it makes sense like that would be awful if you <laughs> if you just like went to dream addresses and like we're farming for bells and oh wrong way and then you just like can't take them with you because it's a dream wait what is up here hold on again before we go in the Mario pipe I just need to I need to cross my t's and dot my eyes here is this the oh it is the museum okay 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 we've seen this 
Yeah, this island feels so spacious. Mario Pipe! I remember whenever this was released, it was just so convenient to travel, like, to the airport or, you know, really anywhere. Well, okay. And we found the final, I think the final one, right? Present. We did it. We made it, folks. We did it. <laughs> What an incredibly fun island. Such a unique concept too. And it's fun. Yeah, I, I love it. I absolutely love this island. It, obviously, aesthetically, it is just so beautiful and cool. But beyond that, you have tasks. You have something to do. You have a goal, which is just so much fun. Thank you so much to Kira for letting me tour this incredible island. I just, I had so much fun. I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring off camera, but make sure to come and visit for yourself. What an absolute blast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed touring this island. I hope you have an awesome day wherever you are in this big old world, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.